So did Magistrate O'Shane get it wrong this time? Brian Seymour walks us through the evidence and after his report, we'll ask you to sit in the judge's seat. And the black fellow walks in, they don't look at the, they look at the black fellow and thinks he's a thief. They've been told to go in heavy-handed on, on the black people here in Redfern. For us and for our members who are placed in dangerous and difficult situations every day, this is an example of where the system has let them down. G'day, buddy. Mate, I'm Brian. Brian. I'm a reporter with Today Tonight on Channel 7. Okay. I want to just ask you about what's happened. Meet Gary Rose, known to his mates as Buddy. In court, you admitted that you'd had a few and yes. that you may not remember things exactly as they happened. Yes. Is it possible that you, you might have overstepped no. the mark, mate? No, no, no. On July 2nd, Gary allegedly assaulted two transit officers here at Redfern train station. But yesterday, Magistrate Pat O'Shane dismissed the seemingly overwhelming evidence against Rose, saying he was the victim and dressing down the security guards. This whole incident was captured on security video, which was presented in court as evidence. Here's what the transit officers both say happened. Early that morning, they heard some screaming in the men's toilets, investigated and found Gary Rose. They say drunk, asked him to leave, he abused them, so they calmly escorted him out through these gates. Then they say he came back, abused them some more, spat in their face. They then put him on the ground, handcuffed him and called police. Police looked at the security video and agreed Gary Rose was guilty of assault. However, as we now know, Magistrate Pat O'Shane did not see it that way. She dismissed the video footage and accused the officers of making up their story. She believed Gary's story, that he was in the toilet singing when all hell broke loose. They pushed the door in and bumped my head. So I finished doing what I had to do and I walked out and I asked them why they come in there pushing the door. And... Buddy says he left when asked, then returned to take down their badge numbers when the officers suddenly began abusing him. They said, fuck off back over there, you black and don't come back over here, you know, to the or don't even come near the toilets or anything anymore. Buddy says he asked them why they were swearing at him. Then... They tackled me in the road, they're just about in the middle of the road and handcuffed me and brought me back in here, sitting on top of me, I'm handcuffed. You're saying you couldn't breathe? Well, it was very hard for me to breathe. Mate, uh, is it true me. that you, you spat in their face? Because they no, both I say didn't. that you spat no, at them no. and then someone in one of their mouths. Yeah, well, just, I think that was just a story they're, they're trying to cover their tracks. Well, another thing that was said that is, is that it took you a day into the court proceedings on the second day to remember that they'd called you a black so-and-so. Why didn't you remember that on the first day in court? That's what the papers said. No, well, the papers are wrong, mate, because... They said, they said you forgot until the second day that you'd been racially abused. Is no. that not the case? No, it's not the case, no. Rail, train and bus union spokesman Mark Morey is backing his members, saying they followed clearly signposted rules about abuse and spitting. Look, we're very disappointed with the decision. Um, we've written to the minister today asking that the government appeal the decision. The security footage showing everything, including the spitting, is under wraps pending that appeal. But Magistrate O'Shane said Gary Rose might have a case to bring against the transit officers. Well, maybe I should. <laughs> I'll, 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 I will speak to me lawyers and, and stuff about that. Brian Seymour with both sides of the story. Now, given the evidence, did Magistrate Pat O'Shane make the right decision? Please head to our website and cast your vote at yahoo7.com.au forward slash today tonight.